Hey guys, it's your local drama channel checking in to get a piece of the action. No, I just uh, finally opened my Jaclyn Hill PR box. It was sitting in my office, as you guys know. And if you don't know, I'll link it. But I got a lot of going on in my life right now. I'm literally packing up and moving across the country. So if you're like, what? Huh? Where's Ryan? You're really like, you're, you're behind a couple episodes. Okay. So I will link everything for you in the description box below in case you care to, uh, read up. If not, then let's just move forward. Um, so I got the PR package with the 20 lipsticks, the, um, let's just roll that real quick. I'll, um, I'll put the footage in of me opening that and we'll go from there. All right, so we have the package right here. Let me flip you down and around. It's on my stove because this is like the brightest area right now in my house. It's kind of dark. This is the Jaclyn Hill, or Jaclyn Cosmetics rather, um, PR package for the lipsticks. I know all of you get very concerned when my address is showing. Thanks for caring, but um, that is my office address, so it's all good. Uh, this is giant. Like, are there a million lipsticks in here? Holy hell. Okay. Uh, and the burners are turning on. <laughs> this is a pretty substantial box. We've got a little diamond here. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So let me pull you guys closer here. This has jewels in here that move. This is a beautiful PR package. Um, I agree with the sentiment of a lot of other influencers though. As beautiful as this is, this is so freaking wasteful. Um, this is plastic, this whole tray right here. This just seems really overkill for this many lipsticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is beautiful, but and, and I can see why she wanted to do this, but personally, I, I tend to agree. I think this is really wasteful with all this plastic. Um, plastic ends up in the ocean, etc. This is just, yeah, and with the lights and everything, I mean, this must have cost a fortune to like make. So let's just take one of the first ones and take a look at this. So JH, this looks perfectly fine to me. Another one. It's got that weird little mark on it. This one has like something on the top of it as well, but definitely like no fibers or anything. Oh, I just noticed that the top of these have like a little diamond in there. That's really cute. There is, there is a hair on this one actually. It's like a fuzz. Let's look at this in better lighting. This lighting down here sucks. So even if you are a hermit and live under a rock, you've probably heard a little bit about what's going on with the Jaclyn Hill lipstick launch. I feel so bad for Jaclyn as a business, business owner myself. Um, you, when you're so excited to launch something, you work so long on it and so hard on it. Um, the fact that it's being just totally crapped on by everybody really sucks. So I started to look through these downstairs and I am finding hairs on them or fibers. I think everyone's being a little dramatic when they're like, I don't feel comfortable putting them on my lips. I would put these on my lips. It's, it's freaking a fiber. Like it's not gonna get you sick. <laughs> Um, I really don't think it's mold. Uh, as an owner of a brand, I know that how hot a product is kept and how cold it is kept can cause certain chemical reactions and could cause those little circles on the top. Not saying that it's a great thing. I mean, it doesn't look pristine. There are little air bubbles on the top of mine and I had to look really, really, really closely underneath a light to see it. So I'm gonna see if I can capture that for you today. I can't figure out how to make my camera 4K cause Ryan's not here to help me and I don't wanna bug him. So I'll figure it out later online. But um, I did watch a YouTube video about it and I just don't remember what he said, so. We'll look through these. Um, I have to say, just like looking at these, a lot of the shades are 
pretty freaking similar. So I am going to be swatching these for you today, but let's just talk about this whole thing for a second and I'll give you some of my thoughts and opinions and my theories on this um, as a brand owner and kind of how that works. Um, I've, I've watched a few other videos about this um, and they were pretty useful and interesting, especially Robbie Christie's, I think she really got super in depth with these and I think it was great. Um, so if you wanna watch hers, I'll link it for you in the description box below as well. Um, okay, so let me just look up the price for these lipsticks because I'm super organized and prepared for this video, okay? <sighs> Jacqueline Cosmetics. Okay, so pretty much the whole damn lipstick range is completely sold out. So apparently these fibers aren't scaring everybody. The shade range does, I, I love the shade range because I like all the nudes. Um, and they do have different undertones, like some are a little more pink. I'm looking down because they're on my desk right here, by the way. Some are a little more pink and some are a little more brown. Some are a little more warm tone and a little cool tone. So um, a lot of you guys were talking to me on Twitter about, I wish these would stand up on the lid, but there's like a little jewel here, so they don't. They're similar, but I would say that I like that there's so many different versions because a nude for me is gonna be a different shade than a nude for somebody with even more pale skin or darker skin. So I actually don't mind the range. I think it's kind of cool. I do think it's a little freaking weird that there's no reds. Um, Jacqueline wears red lipstick a lot, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've seen her in a red lip. Maybe those were just older pictures on the internet, but I've seen her in a red lip before. So I'm a little confused as to why there's like one pink, there's like two pinks. These are the pinkest pinks and then the other pinks are like mixed with nude. But I'm a little confused as to why there's really no red. Um, I think that's a little weird. But anyways, these lipsticks are $18. I think that's a pretty good price. Let's go ahead and just start looking at these. We're just gonna inspect a few of these randomly and I'm gonna see if we can pick up some of the fibers that I'm seeing on them. Um, I wish I had a microscope like Raw Beauty Christie because there are holes at the top of these. So I'm just gonna put it out there in case my camera not on 4K is able to get this, which it probably won't. If you have um, that phobia with the little holes thing, I don't even know what it's called. I'll have to put it on screen. Then please be warned that that could happen. Okay, so I just pulled out Isla and there's actually something stuck to the side of this. It looks like do you see that right there? That little piece of so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, hang on. There is actually something dark on the side right there. Um, this one has slight holes and it does have a fuzz on top. And I honestly don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there is a fuzz on there as well. So let's go ahead and look at a different one. I just my little handheld camera is not doing it justice either. Okay, there's also a giant fiber on this one too. Actually, there's two. Looks like little alien horns on it. Let me see if my phone can pick this up. The iPhones, they're pretty impressive, you know? So you can see the little hairs right there that look like little alien, little alien antennas. There are also little holes at the bottom or they're around the edge there and those, those hairs right there did not come off of my leggings. The lipstick has not touched my leggings and I just unpackaged it. It also looks kind of weird at the top right there if you can see that. Yep, so that one has, so that's three out of three so far that I've looked at that have fuzz attached to them. Let's grab another one. This is Hottie Toddy. The edge of this has little air bubbles in it as well. I'm also gonna cut into these like Raw Beauty Christie did because I think that's really interesting. I wanna see if there's more air bubbles. Now this one has a fiber down towards the base of it. Not sure if you can see again, I'll do some iPhone footage as well, but it also has little air bubbles. So more fibers, four out of four have fibers. Um, this is Control Freak. Let's take a look at that. This is... This one here, it just looks dirty on the side kind of, almost like like it's been rubbing against stuff. So I don't know what the deal is with that. There's more fibers stuck to the side here. Looks all right, it just kind of looks like the edge of the lipstick. Can you see how that just looks kind of like scuffed and dirty? Grabbing another one, this is That Girl. Ew. This one, so. This one has 
some dark parts in the top there. This one actually looks perfect. One. So let's see, we've already looked at one, two, three, four, five, six. So one out of seven is fine. And this is a maze balls. Let's take a look at this. This has fibers stuck to the very top. This is what the shade looks like. This one is called Bad Ass. This one's kind of interesting because it almost looks like there's something underneath the surface. I'm definitely cutting into this one. And there's a giant fiber on the tip as well. And there's, there's these little lines down the lipstick too. Oh my God! There's the craziest long hair on this. You can see it right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's not a fiber. That is straight up a hair. I kid you not. I, that looks like a dog hair. Whoa. Look at this. Do you guys see? Okay, let me put this background on this so you can see it. Look at that hair in there. What? Oh my goodness. This has literally an animal hair in it. I'm actually gonna take this to the vet tomorrow and have them look at it under a microscope and have them tell me if this is an animal hair. I am 99.5% sure this is an animal hair. Um, the more I've looked at it, this is definitely like a dog or a rabbit's animal. Like, like this is an animal hair. Wow. I did not expect to find like an animal hair in this. Like there's no way that's not an animal hair. It's like straight and then like wavy at the end. <sighs> okay, now I'm not putting them on my lips. Now I wouldn't put them on my lips. This lab, I hope Jacqueline gets a full refund because this lab, like what you're seeing in this, this is not Jacqueline's fault. This is like a lab. Like if there was a hair or any fibers in my product, I would ask for a full refund. Like that's just not how labs are supposed to work. Like I don't know what kind of crappy lab this is, but I cannot believe what I just found in that. That is freaking crazy. I knew I was gonna find some fibers based on the videos that I've been seeing, but I didn't expect to see that. Okay, before we get up close and personal with these, I wanted to talk about the packaging because a lot of people are kind of um, speculating that because this says JH that these are very old. Now, let me tell you something about packaging and ordering. Most all components come from China. It takes at least, and can take longer, two months for components to arrive to your lab. So it's possible that the lipstick is not over like years old, but the component itself is, and then it was filled. So does that make sense? Like she could have purchased these components and actually I think these components might even take way longer than two months because they're custom. Um, forgot about that detail, it says JH on it. So these are custom, I'm sure she had this put in here too. So if this is custom tooling, this could take even longer. So you have to order these way, way, way in advance. So it's a possibility that she purchased these components and then filled them recently. Now, what we're finding on the lipsticks, I don't blame Jacqueline for this. I, I, I mean, she's never made a cosmetics line. How is she supposed to know this lab sucks? Like it's really, you have to do a lot of due diligence and stuff, but I really don't fault her for this. Like I don't think that, I mean, if the lab told her that these were quality controlled and checked, I mean, what is she gonna do, call them a liar? Um, I mean, now we know, Raw Beauty Christy just responded to me, no! I just sent her this like hair that I just found in here and I'm almost positive it's an animal hair. Um, so I, I don't really fault her for this. I, I think it's so unfortunate, but let's go ahead and take a look at these a little closer. I'm not gonna swatch all of them like I originally was because I'm almost positive there's an animal hair sitting in one of my lipsticks and at that point, like who the fuck is gonna wanna buy these? So, I mean, I guess somebody, cause it's sold out, but I'm just gonna swatch a few to see like, oh my God, it's so hot in here, woo! Um, I'm gonna swatch a few to see like if there's anything weird in there and like the one that looks like the surface is like kind of weird. And then we're gonna dissect a couple and then we're going to form our conclusion and let's see if we find anything else. 
I wanna start with this one that kinda looks like something's trying to break through it. Um, it's kinda weird. This is like really satisfying for some reason. <laughs> okay, it looked like there's something kind of in the tip. So let's squish this. I'm not seeing anything other than I think I'm seeing a little bit of fibers. This is really making me want chocolate right now. Okay, so this is Ambition, and what I want to do is I want to just kind of just do a lot of this and see if we get any of that clumpiness that people are seeing, or any of those like little beads. This is a really pretty shade. I like this shade. I mean, it looks pretty normal to me. I mean, there, it looks like there's like a little bit of bumps and like there's no dry skin coming off on this because it's on my hand. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Looks okay. This is that girl. Um, we're gonna do the same thing here. Oh, look at that. What in the, yeah, there's like little bumps on this one. So this one, like I just swatched it on my hand, which is totally smooth. And then it looks like this. Let's keep going with this and see what happens. There's things coming out of it on my hand. Look how crazy the lipstick looks. There's an air bubble. There were some air bubbles. Let's try this again. looks all like weird again. There's like clumps in it. See those, right? I don't know if you can see those. There's like little circular pieces of like, like harder lipstick. You know, like when you're, yeah, it's definitely gritty. I can feel it. It's, yeah, it's like there's harder pieces of lipstick, like almost like when you're mixing like flour and something together and there's still clumps of like flour that aren't mixed in. It's almost like that, like just little harder pieces of lipstick that are in this that are like causing all the lines in it. You can tell, but these little pieces are like just firmer chunks of lipstick in here. Like there's one right there. See that? This one is Nude AF. It looks seemingly perfect. Let's swatch. This is a really nice shade though, I like it. This one looks fine. They feel like they'd be really moisturizing. 
Yeah, so this one, this one looks fine, but let's just destroy it anyway for fun. This one looks like it was mixed a lot better than the other one. Like there's no chunks in it. I mean, you could see that. Well, I just saw one. Um, you can kind of see that from like swatching it. It didn't have a bunch of gouges in the actual lipstick itself. It looks like way more smooth. All right, so there's a few things I'm gonna say about this. Um, as a business owner, I, I understand that this is not Jacqueline's fault. This has nothing to do with anything that's her fault. This is about her lab, and this is her first time working with this lab, I'm gonna assume, because this is the first product that she's come out with. So run from the hills from this lab. Um, the fact that there is an animal hair, I'm 99.5% sure that's an animal hair. I wanna say 100, but I don't know everything. I'm not God, so I can't say that. But um, I'm gonna take this to a vet office tomorrow, and if they will look at it for me under a microscope, I will put that clip at the end of this video and we'll know 100% if it is an animal hair. But all I have to say is that this is not Jacqueline's fault. Please don't attack her. Like, this is her lab's fault. Like, I wish I knew what lab it was so I could write them an email as a business owner myself. Like, they need to be shut down. My other question is, is this an animal hair that was on someone's lab coat that stays at the lab? I mean, if this is an animal hair, why is there an animal hair in the lab? Are they testing on animals? Like, I... This appears to be like a cat, a dog, or like a rabbit hair. So I don't know what that means. It could have come in on someone's clothing, I suppose. But I've been in a few labs myself, including my own, and the way that they are dressed, there's really no way a hair could get into a lipstick. Um, I haven't seen a video where there's been an animal hair found yet, but reading through the Twitter post that I just posted, it sounds like maybe I'm not the first one. So that leaves me to wonder why there is so much animal hair in this lab that's unsanitary. Also, why is there animal hair? Are there animals there being tested? Like I really, it really begs the question. Um, this is, I'm gonna say it again, this is not Jacqueline's fault. This is the, her lab's fault. This lab needs to be, I, I hope she releases the name of the lab so I can send them a letter because this is absolutely ridiculous. First, I was like, okay, fibers, like it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna kill you. It can't get you sick. But I don't, this is an animal hair and I don't know what animal it came from or where or why there's an animal hair in the lab to begin with. Um, that's not sanitary. Like what if someone's allergic to the animal whose hair that belongs to? I mean, I can actually see the animal, the hair cuticle on it. So I'm, I would return any lipstick that you bought. I think that her lab needs to give her a full refund. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I honestly didn't think I was gonna go there with this video. I thought I'd find some fibers and we'd be like, okay, that's weird. Yeah, it doesn't like swatch super well. Um, also the consistency of the lipstick is completely different from one to the other. Um, there are harder chunks of lipstick that haven't been blended down as much within the formula. So that's what you're getting when it looks like you applied it on really dry lips. It's doing that itself because I did it on the back of my hand and I moisturize this hand like every freaking day and night and it is smooth as a baby's butt and it was leaving those really, really harsh lines in the lipstick. So this is just a shitty lab. Like this is a crap lab. Um, and you know, sometimes like things like this just slip by because the lab will tell you, oh, we did quality control. We work with this brand and this brand and we're big and like, we're awesome. So I really don't pin this on Jacqueline. I actually feel really bad for Jacqueline. I think Jacqueline is a wonderful human being and I feel, I feel for her that this is happening and it's frustrating to me that people are coming after her because this is not Jacqueline's fault. I'm gonna say that like probably five, five more times throughout this video, but it's not Jacqueline's fault. This is definitely a huge fuck up by her lab. Her lab should be inspected because this is concerning as all hell. I, I also don't think that with all of the launch issues Jacqueline has had up to this point, God bless her soul, um, I don't think that she would ever even try to pull one over on anybody and put a, a year old lipstick in there. She has a lot of integrity and I really don't think that she would do that. Um, 
So I'm just gonna say that I feel absolutely terrible for Jacqueline. Jacqueline, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I feel really bad. I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, yeah, that's just crazy. So, I mean, I looked at 20 lipsticks and I found one animal hair. So if other people have found animal hair, then it's a big issue. I mean, it's a big issue nonetheless. But if it's if there's multiple animal hairs in lipstick, then there are definitely animals present in that lab. I have to say, there, there, how could there not be? So I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get emotional. I get emotional when animals are involved. Like, you know, I'm against animal cruelty and I don't use anything tested on animals. So I'm not saying that these are tests on animals, but I do want to know why there's animal hair in that lab um, and going into lipsticks and products that people are putting on their face that could possibly be allergic to said animals. I know people are deathly allergic to rabbits and things like that. So anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, I will put the clip on here if I'm able to go to the vet tomorrow and if they will look at this for me. Um, so it will be here if I'm able to do that. If not, it won't. And this will be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, spread love, not hate. Just use this as a tool to help you make a decision whether you want to buy something currently or not or return something. But it's not Jacqueline Hill's fault. Um, and I really hope that she can sort it out with the lab because she's worked so hard on her brand and her career and to have this happen, it really kind of breaks my heart for her because I have worked on a brand for years and you know, it, it just is devastating to have that, something like that happen. So um, please keep that in mind and just positive vibes, just use this as a tool. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.